Calvin, welcome. What would you say is the biggest mistake people make when they, they're trying to decide what sort of saddle to buy? Well, uh, you understand what size seat they ride. And a lot of this is kind of like uh, people who's new to the sport of cutting. They, most people want to ride a saddle that's too small. You know, to be able to sit in your saddle, you got to have a little bit more seat to where you're sitting on the, more on your pockets. Okay, that's probably the big, the biggest uh, thing I would say, right, like that. So, would you say, okay, I'm about five eleven. So, is there a, a rule of thumb that I might need a fifteen and a half or a six? No, your height don't really as much as your size of your thighs. Your saddle really fits between right here and your front swell, right here to this cantle. Saying. But the biggest thing I look at when I want to, uh, I look at where a saddle fits right here to these front pads. This is where, you know, you've seen the white spots on horses. Mm -hmm. Some kind of reason, they, and uh, uh, these, these saddles, they get rounded right here. That's what eats on the horse's back, creates that pressure point. So you want it flatter here where it kind of spreads it out. Well, it depends on how you want to hold the horn. I mean, I had guys like Terry Riddle that he liked a little bit kind of taller horn, and he rode a horse completely different than what Buster Welch did. You know, like like I was saying, Buster said you hold a horn like you do. You got a cigarette right here, where you you know push on it and and uh, get away from pulling on a horn. You don't want to pull on your horn, but you ride the seat of your saddle. When you ride the seat of your saddle, you're not riding your horn. What I mean by riding your horn is kind of using that to hold on too 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 much. 